And there we go, that's the Mr. Beast website as an app. Fully functional, it even loads the videos for the products as well. In this video, I'm going to take the shopmrbeast.com website and I'm going to turn it into a mobile app and put it on my phone. Let's get started. Now here's the website, right? So how am I going to take this and turn it into a mobile app? Well, if I open up the developer tools, I'm a mobile app developer, by the way, that's how I know how to do this kind of stuff, and open up the um, device toolbar, this will show me what it will look like on a mobile device. Okay, so you can see that this website already actually kind of functions like a mobile app. All I have to do is build it onto my phone. And that's the tricky part that not a lot of people know how to do. But I have some free open source software you can use. You could do this yourself if you wanted to. So basically all you have to do is go over here, copy this URL, and then I'm gonna open up this project and I'll leave a link to this project. Um, it's a completely free open source project I have in the description below. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the home.page.html file and I'm gonna go in this iframe right here and I'm gonna change the source attribute to be shopmrbeast.com and there we go. So now it'll function as a mobile app and I just have to build this app onto my phone. Also one nicety, one thing I should probably do is change the app name and the app icon. So I'll show you how to change the app name and I'm gonna go over here to the capacitor.config.json and I'm gonna change this app ID right here to, oh, some reverse domain identifier, which is basically just a fancy name for a website that I own backwards. So I could do a subdomain of mine, uh, com.jamesonsaunders.mrbeast. Okay, now for the app name, I'm just gonna call it Shop Mr. Beast, because that's what the app should probably be called, because it's the Shop Mr. Beast website. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and save that file. Also make sure you've saved the other files well, well the home.page.html file. Okay, and then the, the last thing we really need to do for configuring the app name is I probably need to change the name right here in the ionic config.json. So I'm gonna change this as well to shop Mr. Beast. Now one thing I've done in preparation for this video is I've made two files. I've made an icon and a splash screen, which are really important when you're building apps. So the icon is 1024 by 1024, and I just grabbed this. This is the Mr. Beast YouTube logo icon. And again, I'm not I'm not using this to publish an actual app. I'm just kind of doing a local demonstration on my own phone. So you don't want to try and publish anyone else's stuff without their permission. But this is just a demonstration. All right, now I'm going to take these icon files and configure them for use in my project. Now this step. While it is really simple, you kind of need to know a lot of underlying things in order to be able to do this. So I'm gonna skip over explaining it and I'm just gonna do it real fast. All right, and with minimal configuration, this project is ready to go. Let's press build. So it's right here on my phone. I can click this right here and it'll open the Mr. Beast website as an app so that I can access it very easily. And there we go, the full website as an app. Gonna agree to these terms and oh, what else can I do on here? Uh, maybe I wanna buy a shirt. Let's go to the lookbook. And I was thinking this one looked pretty cool earlier when I was checking this out. Um, so, you know, everything on here works perfectly just fine. Um, and I'm probably out of size medium, I think. Add that to cart and we can check out. And I'm gonna do that real fast to support Mr. Beast. And I'm just gonna complete the order. And there we go, it's on its way, shipping to me. And there we go, that's the Mr. Beast website as an app. Fully functional, it even loads the videos for the products as well. Now if you're interested in learning how to do this in a more tutorial format, that's not as rushed as this flashy YouTube video is, then click the link in the description, it's a discount code. Uh, discount link for my product website to app so there's a full product i've developed for this it's a mini course called a website to app and essentially it'll just teach you all the little things fill in the details about like what code editor to use um, how to run the commands i did in order to make the app icon and the splash screen um, and things like that so if you're interested in that and you want to build an app using your existing business website or something like that that's kind of more what this is for um, you can get a ton of value out of this because normally building apps takes quite a bit longer and here we're using kind of a neat little trick in order to build your website as an app. Also included in the program is an updated template so that your app can work with website cookies and this is really important if you want your app to use 
um, user login info so that they don't have to re-log in every time they use your app. All right, and there you go. Thanks so much for watching this video. Link in the description if you're interested in more of a tutorial format of this sort of thing, website to app. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.